Hello everyone, my name is Jashwant. Uh, we are from Group 3. Uh, we worked on this project related to Boston 311 services, BossBot. Uh, here's my friend Gautam, Deepak, Tanley. It's a non-emergency city service company uh, where uh, residents of Boston report incidents uh, for the domestic problems, like no parking or uh, littering issues or something like that. So uh, I would like to explain about problem statement. Uh, the incidents that are reported in the Boston 311 services does not always contain all the sufficient information that are required to resolve the case. And there is also a possibility of the same incident getting reported again. To resolve this problem, uh, we have designed a solution for this. So we have created a chatbot which is an interactive uh, environment uh, wherein a user can report an issue directly to this chatbot. So we can save all the information uh, which is provided by the user uh, and save and save it in the uh, database. So we can uh, address this incident by modifying the reporting system to avoid duplication the incident reports and have clear created a priority system so that the duplication is avoided. We did an initial analysis on the Boston 311 uh, services reports which were recorded. And uh, we found that uh, most of the cases in uh, open cases, there were uh, details which were missing like photograph, locations and some other informations that were required to close the cases. So to address this concern, we did a preliminary workflow analysis where we classified uh, the cases as open and closed. And the closed cases we classified as by location and we did an analysis to understand them better. And uh, for the open cases, uh, we wanted to introduce a chatbot in between where we could uh, have an interactive uh, environment with a uh, user so that we can uh, check whether the information provided by them is sufficient for closing the case. So as in when the case is uh, reported by a, by a user, uh, we'll uh, understand whether all the information and all the necessary information like location, photos and uh, where it's happening and time and all is there. And once those information is recorded, the chatbot will process and it will store it in a separate place and uh, we'll get an input from a user that whether that uh, case has to be updated to him. Uh, we'll get additional info from the information we gather from the user. We will again uh, ask the inf user whether to update the status of the concern to him once the case is closed or not. For our project, we identified uh, three major challenges. One is how to collect the data and uh, what technology to use and how the data is to be modified. And for collecting the data, we needed to identify how the chatbot will collect the data and uh, what is the decision to be taken if there is a duplicate case and uh, how to like update the case or whether record it as a new case. Mm -hmm. And for technology, we identified like uh, we'll use the services of uh, Amazon Lex, AWS RDS, MySQL and uh, SNS services S3 and uh, cloud formation services uh, for this project. And uh, initially we decided uh, to like create a priority index to avoid duplication so that if there is a, any duplicate report is recorded we can just increase the priority of it rather than recording it and uh, we also ha had to decide how to like collect the data and organize it uh, so that it can be effectively resolved without any delay. This is the proposed work schema. This flowchart simulates the whole process from creating a case to manipulating our database. Once the user clicks submit case report, he or she has to select a reason which we need to classify the case. Then the user is required to provide a location to help us handle the case. Photo and the description are optional. You can also leave your contact information. After updating the case status, we will inform you. Our chatbot will record all the above information, then send it to our background program. Here, our back background program received all the information it needed. It will start to compare the new case to our existing case. According to the reason, location, and date, we can make sure if it is a valid case. Then the case will be changed from open to closed when we complete your case. There are four situations. Situation one, the case is an absolute new case that is no similar to all of the existing case. Situation 2. The case is similar to a duplicate case. However, the duplicate case has been closed days ago. 
which means the same case happen in the same location. Situation 3. The case is similar to a duplicate case. However, the duplicate case just has been closed today, which means the new case might be the same case. Maybe things happen again. If so, we need to analyze it such as through AWS recognition and make a decision. Situation 4. The case is similar to a duplicate case. However, the duplicate case is open, which means it may be an urgent case. We should raise the priority of the case, and our priority is from 1 to 5. Uh, this is the high-level architecture diagram. Uh, we have used five services for this application, uh, recognition, Lambda, S3, RDS, CloudFormation, and uh, LexBot. So recognition and SNS will be used for future enhancement, maybe for the phase two. So when user interacts with the chatbot, uh, the chatbot Lex will look for the keywords, like it has sample utterances, like a report, uh, uh, I would like to raise a complaint, those kind of utterances. So it will look for the keywords from the user's text. So when it finds the text, it looks for the slot information, like it wants to fill the form. So it will look for the slot information, like what was the report, uh, which location it was the report was filed, those kind of information. When, when all this information has been filled once, those information is done now passed on to Lambda. So now Lambda will do all the compute power. So it will now look for the uh, duplicate values, the, whether the incident is a duplicate. So it will compare it with the RDS instance. So it will take the previous values and it will compare with the current value to find the duplicate values. So if the incident is marked duplicate, then it will check for the open status. If the status is open, then the RDS instance uh, that record is moved priority from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 is still 5. So 5 is the highest priority in our app and uh, once if the duplicate well if the record is not a duplicate record then that lambda function will automatically mark that function as a new record and it will push into RDS instance. So S3 is used for to store images for the uh, incident uh, like uh, the, uh, it, the user may report about illegal car parking or some other incident. So those kind of images are stored in S3. S3 also used in here for a static website hosting. So we have hosted our application in the S3 bucket. So SNS will have a trigger function. RDS will have a trigger function and SNS will be monitoring this trigger function. The when user updates the status from the uh, close to open to close or uh, from open to need info that SNS will know, uh, mark this and uh, it will notify the users by uh, through email uh, or through text so whichever uh, information was provided during the chat and recognition recognition is used to find the duplicacy so if the incident is closed today and uh, another incident open uh, on the same day with the same information to find whether that is a duplicate record, M uh, Amazon recognition will be used to do uh, image analysis to find the information. And uh, cloud formation. Cloud formation here it is used to deploy all these stacks. So to automate this process, we have deployed all these stacks via cloud formation. Uh, so it will be uh, in future if you want to make some changes, we can make uh, make the changes in cloud formation. So our website hosted an S3 bucket. So when I hit enter, we it will redirect to our chatbot window. Now we can interact with the chat box as a user, we can raise a complaint. So we will ask for the incident information. Now I will give us illegal parking. We will ask to provide the location of the incident, say 360 Huntington Avenue. So it will ask for the email if, it, uh, if you want a status update. Or the information needs more information then it lasts uh, this email address will be used to contact the users so I'll just enter a sample address and uh, now it lasts for the user preference whether they want to be uh, informed about the status update like whether the incident is closed or in need info so it lasts for the preference so I'll say yes so now it says thanks for reaching out your incident illegal parking has been noted or um, the so and so. so. This is the AWS RDS database. We use the we use it to store our use data, which from three one one service request twenty twenty, and this is the data set. If the case is absolutely new and the data stored in the database is absolutely uh, not comparable to the previous, the case will be absolutely new one. 
This case is similar to a duplicate case. However, the duplicate case has been closed days ago, which means the same case happened in, a, in the same location. We can take a look. We have a case with the reason and the location and the open date. 2020, January 13. And another one is the same. Same reason with the same location. This case is a duplicate case that is similar to one or more cases stored in our database. However, the duplicate case just has been closed today, which means the new case is the same case. For example, several users submit the same cases or the same cases submitted several times due to network or system error, or maybe things happening again. So if, if so, we need to analyze it through AWS recognition to make a decision. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, take the com we'll compare images of the both those cases and we'll figure out whether the incident happened today and uh, wh whether it is a duplicate case. The case is a duplicate case that is uh, similar to one or more cases uh, stored in our database. But uh, the difference is uh, the duplicate case is open, which means the urgency might be different or it might, there might be an immediate requirement. So in order to compensate that, uh, we have introduced a priority index in which the priority of the case will be updated. We have set a priority level so that the maximum number represents the urgency of the case. So the higher the number of priority, the faster the case has to be solved. And the new, new cases will have the priority of one as a default value.